I thought it was a provocative idea, uh, just verging on science fiction, but not really kind of uh, realistic and a timely idea because everybody's in labs right now trying to make the ultimate smart drug and everybody would like to take that drug if it existed and get access to the other 80% of your brain that scientists say we cannot uh, achieve in our normal lives um, and improve memories, cognitive function, have ultimate bull detectors, uh, better reflexes, and uh, just generally become an uber person. Um, I thought that kind of technology is probably around the corner and it would be interesting to see a story come to life about somebody that gets a hold of it before any of the rest of us ever do. Everybody was very enthusiastic about getting him to play Eddie because the likable schlump is no problem for Bradley. I mean, he knows exactly how to play that part. But had we not gotten an actor who himself is a very smart person, um, the movie wouldn't have worked. Uh, there are actors who are very charismatic uh, and very good within a certain range at doing a certain kind of thing. But whoever we got to play Eddie had to be able to use the English language in a highly articulate way and make it sound like all that stuff just tripped effortlessly off his tongue and was very natural for him to say. Not that he would just learned a bunch of big words on Tuesday and was trying to stuff them into a sentence. So it had to be someone who had read and was, even if self-educated, a literate person. And Bradley is a highly, highly intelligent and literate person, so uh, it was a perfect marriage.